Okay, today we're going to be making a basic website design. Now, this is going to be more of like a black and white, extremely simple design. Um, it's but yet yeah, stylish. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and make a new document here, and we're going to do let's do eight hundred by nine hundred. Okay. Now, you want to go ahead and fill your background with black. Okay, with the paint bucket tool. So go ahead and do that. Um, okay, now make a new layer. And we're going to put in the basic template structure with the rectangular marquee tool which is right here so go ahead and make your selection <clears throat> and you want to leave a little bit little bit of space for the header at the top here okay now go ahead and fill that with a light gray extremely light just a little bit below uh, white you can see the exact color code I'm using right here if you're trying to make the exact template but okay so now we have our basic template structure okay now I like to keep my designs organized so go ahead and make a new group and we're gonna name this background okay now drag both of your layers in there okay so we're gonna go ahead and add a drop shadow on our template structure and add that at 100 opacity, zero distance, and about seven size. Okay. And now um, we're going to select our header, the image we're going to use for the header. So I'm going to go ahead. You want to use like a more black and white gray image, sort of a darker, more darker image. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one right here okay now select control a to select your whole image and actually paste that in our file now you want to go ahead and transform the image so it's the same size as your template structure you can do that by pressing control t okay and see we have a pixel um, we need to actually transform for a little extra okay and now drag your image layer under your um, under your uh, your template structure oh okay and now we're actually gonna spice up the the header a little bit so just control J duplicate your image and go to filter blur Gaussian blur okay now set that on overlay okay and we kind of try and uh, get the perfect actually I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, make the car at the center of the template like that and you could do it with a car as well or um, really any kind of object you could erase the ends with so we're gonna go ahead and uh, select uh, make sure you uh, you reset your brushes. Select a basic brush like this at about a hundred pixels. Okay, and let's actually just delete the Gaussian blur for now, and just go ahead and uh, erase the sides of your image. Okay, just like that. Pretty simple.
Okay, now Control J duplicate that. We're gonna add the Gaussian blur again. Okay, at 6.5 and set that on overlay. Okay, and now we kind of have a basic little car header here. Okay, so let's go ahead and add our uh, logo here. Or let's actually move the car on the more the left hand side. Maybe turn it a little bit like that so it looks like it's kind of on the template, I guess. Um, hmm, no, I think we originally had it a little, maybe a little slight turn. Not exactly as much as I had it. Okay, and let's go ahead and add a simple logo. So we're going to do car website. And this is just a basic uh, style. I've seen a lot of people use the kind of, especially for car websites. So. Maybe put it on the. No, I think that's cool right there. And you can even put a sub quote. This is our sub quote here. Okay, and go to your text tool. Make sure uh, this is a lot of text effects you can use if you didn't know. If you just click this button with any text selected, you could actually change a lot of the text options. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and leave it at regular at about, um, let's do 14 uh, from the car website, maybe a little bit longer. Let's actually do it at a gray. Okay. Go ahead and just leave it like that. Okay, so now we have our basic structure, the header, and the logo. So let's go ahead and um, end this video, and we're actually just gonna move on to part two. So go ahead and oh, part two will actually be in your sidebar if you're watching this right now.